four. I'm back here with another homebrew challenge video. This one is 13A, 13A Dark Mild. Now, this this beer is right up my alley. It's a it's a darker beer, lower alcohol, um, light body, lovely clear, you know, clear looking beer. Um, English beer. Um, I don't know what it's really similar to because uh, it's, it's maybe like a watered down, watered down. Um, I, don't know, I can't even say it's a watered down anything else. It's a, like maybe a watered down ESB, something like that. Um, really, really mild flavors, really lovely beer, uh, in my opinion. Now, a dark mild was basically uh, the pleb drink. It was served to uh, people with less money. And, uh, and they drank it because it was cheap and because it was, uh, uh, you know, lower in alcohol and stuff like that. Uh, if you had more money, you'd buy something that was a bit more malty, a bit more hot forward, had had all of that kind of stuff going for it. Whereas, um, yeah, a lot, a lot of the plebs kind of had to drink this, which is cool, you know, it's, uh, it's not a bad beer at all. Um, basically, you can only find this in, in England or Britain. Um, try getting it out of there and, uh, you're gonna have trouble, but it's it's massively popular there. So, so you get a lot of those um, those biscuity, uh, maybe even like a light chocolate. But <laughs> is that right, Charlie? Yeah. Lovely biscuity, biscuity flavors, don't we? And uh, re really, really easy to drink because it's really light, really wa not not watery, but like it's a really thin beer. So. Um, you know, easy to easy to put a few away for sure. This was a bottle conditioned beer again. Uh, this is brewed by the Viking, so uh, he normally does uh, bottle conditioning. He doesn't have a keg set up yet, but um, carbonations turned out really well. Not supposed to be spritzy at all. Most supposed to be a bit dialed back and stuff, so it's really really good uh, on that. Now I'm going to go through the recipe just quickly. So this particular this particular beer has some Vienna, some Caramel Munich, and some light chocolate malt. So the Vienna, I'm actually really surprised how clear this beer is um, because of that. Uh, hops, it's got Fuggles, and it was finished off with whipped bread ale yeast. Uh, there's no information on the temperature. However, I do know that Luke and Mike, uh, or Viking and Daru's, uh fermented this at about 20 degrees Celsius. Uh, we've got a 3.3 percent ABV on the beer. A 23 IBU uh, beer <laughs> and an SRM of 12. That's all right. Is that right, buddy? Hey? Ba, 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 ba. It's a, there's a bitterness that's there, but it's not lingering and it's not yeah, not um, the most dominant feature at all. The bready, the bready biscuity flavors are, are what's the first thing, you know, the, the first thing that you notice and the, the thing that lasts with you. you. You know, there's a sweet, oh, not toffee-like yet, but, but getting close. The links uh, to, the, to this uh, recipe are below in the description. All of the homebrew challenge uh, links and recipes will be down below. Go for, go for your life. Um, tell us what you think, kind of thing. Um, it's so probably be a great beer for people who are not craft beer uh, people and maybe, you know, it'd be a really good introduction to brown, dark beers, stuff like that. You can join him to come in. Yeah. So yeah, it's a really good introduction to, you know, to, to non-crafty people who are, you know, into, you know, trying to get into more craft beer and stuff. Um, again, this is the pleb drink uh, in Britain or the UK not that long ago. Uh, so uh, it was enjoyed by kind of everyone there. It's just a shame it's not uh, in more places than in England. Um, again, this is another one of our homebrew. <laughs> this is another one of our homebrew challenge beers. We're brewing all 120 beers um, that we've found in the BJCP, <laughs> uh, and we're going to put all the recipes and stuff up online. So go go have a look online. Uh, tell us what you think. Have a brew of the recipes yourself. Thank you very much for, for tuning in again to, uh, to see what we, uh, you know, we've been doing. We have heaps more homebrew challenge recipes for you uh, coming up. So uh, thank you very much. We'll see you soon.